aspirations for regional peace and prosperity. We recognize the importance of maintaining strong bilateral relations and are committed to expanding them for the mutual benefits of our two nations and our two people. I join His Excellency President Museveni in appreciating the significant outcome of the second session of the Joint Ministerial Committee held from May 12th to May 14, 2024 in Kampala, Uganda, which culminated in the signing of seven instruments of cooperation between our two countries. Consequently, we now have a memorandum of understanding to anchor cooperation between our foreign services institutions which ensure knowledge exchange and harmonization of structures and content of diplomatic training. We also have MOUs on cooperation of public service and development whose objective is to enhance service delivery by our two public service institutions. In addition to this, an MOU to facilitate cooperation in youth affairs has been signed which enables us to optimize the capabilities of our youthful democratic groups by obliging the two countries to implement innovative national policies and programs relevant to young people. Contextualizing that particular MOU is our joint hosting of the Africa Cup of Nations later um, in 2027 that was jointly um, canvassed by the three East African countries and the continued cooperation between our countries in sports. Further, the JMC witnessed the signing of an MOU on cooperation in sports, demonstrating the seriousness we both attach to sports promotion and development in the mobilization of investment that unlocks the potential of the sports sector. This instrument is even more timely as we lay the groundwork for jointly hosting the 2027 edition of the Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Additionally, we have an instrument to guide our strategic cooperation in education, training, and science, as well as MOU in small and medium-sized enterprises and gender equality and women's empowerment. Finally, as we have witnessed, the tripartite agreement on the importation and transit of refined petroleum products through Kenya to Uganda, whose signing we've just witnessed, enables Uganda National Oil Company Limited to import refined product commodities directly from producers in different jurisdictions, thus bringing to an end the challenges faced by the sector in Uganda. We will continuously provide support to make sure that this new agreement is implemented, is functioning, and is mutually beneficial. It is in our place as Kenya to support Uganda to achieve its aspirations when Kenya is called upon. We are confident that these instruments will consolidate our strong relations and anchor it on a transformative uh, trajectory as leaders we are committed to implementing all our obligations in order to reap their full uh, benefits. Let me also um, confirm that we have agreed in the joint communicate that's going to be issued later on making sure that trade between our two countries is unimpeded either by tariff or non-tariff barriers or levies that are arbitrary levied. We've agreed that the common principle will be the full implementation of the EAC uh, customs and other infrastructure that support trade between East African countries. And therefore, all the issues around rice and juice and uh, furniture and eggs and uh, chicken and sugar 
and all the other issues are now resolved. <laughs> we have also agreed that we will now explore jointly the extension of the pipeline from Eldoret to Kampala that will form the conversation in the next joint ministerial committee. We have also agreed to synergize matters on environment to see how we can build our restoration of degraded uh, wetlands and fragile ecosystems, including our water towers that is currently being undertaken in Kenya, including the planting of 15 billion trees to see how that can be um, synergized with what is going the environmental uh, program that is going on in Uganda, understanding and realizing that climate change has no boundaries. We have also agreed jointly <clears throat> on matters of peace, security, and stability in our region, and we hold common position on what should happen in Eastern DRC, in South Sudan, in the Sudan, in Somalia, and in our region in general. The meeting also emphasized the importance of extending, as I have said, the SGR from Naivasha to Malaba, but all the way to Kampala and DRC as an efficient and sustainable infrastructural We have obliged our res respective ministers to take joint urgent measures to mobilize resources for the implementation of this regional shared infrastructure and report on progress by the end of this year. As pertains our regional agenda, President Museveni and I appreciated the benefits and power of our close coordination with respect to the East African community, Intergovernmental Authority on Development, and the Africa Union and other regional organizations which we recognize as the building blocks for the greater integration of our countries at the continental and international level. I appreciate with tremendous gratitude President Museveni's contribution and selfless dedication to building a robust East African community and transitioning it into a federation of shared vision and values. I have also expressed to His Excellency the people and the government of Uganda the appreciation of Kenyans from all walks of life for Uganda's endorsement of the Kenyan candidate for the position of Africa Union Commission Chairperson and assured him of our full confidence that our candidate will deliver effective leadership at the Commission. We also shared our concern about the threat of terrorism and insecurity in our region and affirmed our commitment to strengthening regional peace and security approaches and programs. Kenya will continue to consult and work closely with Uganda in addressing security challenges in our sub-region, including in the Sudan, South Sudan, Somalia, DRC, and elsewhere. During my meeting with President Museveni, we expressed concern on the drawdown of ATMIS in Somalia, and we urge that the timelines for the drawdown align with the security conditions on the ground in Somalia, not just the calendar that has been laid out. Before I conclude, let me reiterate that President Museveni's visit underscores the enduring bonds of friendship and partnership for peace and development between Kenya and Uganda. As we continue on this journey of cooperation and solidarity, we have used today's visit to reaffirm our commitment to do even more together for the greater good of our nation, our region, and our continent. We have also agreed on the border issues, uh, that have been of concern to border communities, and uh, shortly we will be visiting uh, those regions with a view to bringing the communities together 
I take this opportunity to assure Your Excellency of my personal support and commitment of the Republic of Kenya to work with you and the government of Uganda in furthering our bilateral agenda and mutual interest of our people. Finally, I wish you, Your Excellency, and the great people of Uganda our best wishes for prosperity in Uganda and in our region. Asante sana, mze, karibu. Unaweza kutuongeleza kishwa hili? Very good.